Hello and welcome back to Realm of Thrones. So it looks like we actually got a little bit lucky here. I was actually trying to get two vassals into this particular encounter, but unfortunately they split off in different directions. I'm very surprised actually that they have not wanted to engage me together. That's something that I really thought they would do, you know? I mean, it's it's kind of obvious to assume that maybe it would be a good idea to gang up on your opponent, right? You know, that that's kind of one of the main reasons why you would have, you know, why you'd have multiple people nearby and, you know, trying to trying to gang up on one one fellow and try to eliminate him. But unfortunately, they've decided not to do that for many reasons. That's also sad for me because while this is obviously going to be a bit easier, it's also going to be much less rewarding and it's very strange for me to say that usually because you know I'm perfectly happy to have a situation where we can take advantage of the enemy's small numbers or generally having uh, relatively bad troops or something like that you know that's obviously a, a pretty pretty big given to be honest because you know most of the time if you can it's going to be a great idea for you to take advantage of that in any single way you can. I'm actually just completely failing at hitting any of these people right now, which is wonderful too. Anyway, <laughs> apart from the fact that I'm failing hitting anyone, we are actually super fine. And that's exactly the reason why I wanted to go into a battle against multiple vassals. It would give us so much renown, so much influence in comparison to fighting against just one of them. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm just kind of a bit surprised. I would have definitely thought they would want to do that. But oh well, never mind. And there you go. There's the kill for us. Very nice indeed. I probably should have tried to get some thrown weapon proficiency. And you may have seen me in the previous episode try to get some, you know, thrown weapons off. And yeah, you know, don't worry, don't worry. At the moment, our thrown weapon skill is really really bad i mean of course you know it's going to be pretty bad as it is because we just we have some of the lowest weapon tier thrown weapons uh we have really bad proficiency so of course us throwing them it's really not going to be very effective however we need to throw them if we are going to be getting better and better so i'm just going to let her go for the moment i don't really see the point in taking her because we want more fighting we want more fighting. The only reason why I took the previous fellow is literally just because I thought, hey, you know what, maybe a little bit of extra cash. But then when I saw how much they were willing to give me, uh, yeah, I kind of thought better of it. So that's the reason for that. Otherwise, Jorel can continue to get things and we can actually give her shield now too. Fantastic. That's really nice. And we can even give uh, Hodor a shield too. That's absolutely fantastic. Uh, we can give this guy a shield. There we go. And this fellow a shield as well. All right, perfect. So now every single person has a shield, <laughs> which is actually going to be really, really useful for us. And I'm going to very quickly make my way back here. Now, the main problem that I'm foreseeing, do I have any roguery skill? No, I have very little roguery skill. Okay, it's basically not even worth me selling these prisoners, I don't think. Is it? Uh. See, now, the main problem I'm having is that Usually, I'm not going to be able to chase after opponents if I have a lot of prisoners in my army because the, they slow me down. They slow me down by a pretty considerable margin. And you can see here, uh, minus 0 0.57 is how much they slow me by. And that's actually enough to prevent me from catching up with these fellows, for example. I mean, you can see here, this guy is traveling at 4.9. I'm traveling at 4.6. But as soon as I get rid of these prisoners, which is exactly what I'm going to do here, I'm going to be traveling much faster. As you can see, I'm now traveling at 5.2 and the enemy is traveling at 4.9. So we can catch up almost instantaneously. And that's the thing. I don't want to waste time by going to the nearby town. It is going to give us a decent amount of cash. I don't think it's going to give me that, that, that much, you know, uh, an amount that is actually going to be any bit useful in the future. I really don't. But if you're nearby to a town, then I think it's a good idea. But as, I, as, as I'm not actually concentrating on a roguery skill to begin with, I don't have any focus points in it at all. It doesn't really... I, in my opinion, at least, doesn't really make sense. But, whoa, that was actually a really, really easy hit. 
Can I get some more of that, please? Can I get some more of that? Actually, you know what? I'm just going to try some throne weapons here. As you can see, I'm just going <laughs> to... I'm going to hit their shields and things all the time, but... That's absolutely fine. As I say, you gotta you got to fail to get better, you know? you got to fail to get better at times. Oh, nice. That was a nice hit. Unfortunately, I am going to hit a lot of their recruits, which is exactly what I don't want to do. I don't really want to kill their recruits. I'd like to kill their higher tier units, but they are generally equipped with shields. And as you can see, they have just blocked them without any issue whatsoever. I should probably eliminate their crossbowmen as best I can. And the enemy is now moving across the plains. I'm actually going to tell my forces to charge in. I think that sounds like a pretty decent idea. And I'm going to try and prey upon the enemy's archers. I've got to be a bit careful about my own HP though. As you can see, they do, they do a, a, a pretty good amount of damage, all things considered. Pretty good amount. So I'm just going to try and see if I can maybe avoid getting murdered by their pitchforks as well. Whoa, this sword is so incredibly nice. Gotta say that. Really, really pleased that we were able to get that. Oh, my, my companions just ran in and died. Yes. Okay, well, that's not particularly good, is it? Oh, well, can't really do much about that, unfortunately, but... Yeah, they are indeed running in and just dying. I'm, I'm, I'm actually really surprised about that. I wouldn't have expected my companions to be so, well, easily killed. I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, especially Hodor. I wouldn't have expected him to be, you know, running in there and just dying almost instantly. Maybe it's just me, you know, maybe it's my fault because I haven't given him anything particularly good. I mean, his, his gear is very much lacking, as you might expect. I mean, it's very early on in the playthrough so far. So, of course, we're not really going to have much. Um, as I say, I don't really see the point in actually uh, capturing them because if the town gets taken relatively soon, they're really not going to have much to spend on ransoms and I'd rather just fight them again and again. I am going to be taking them prisoner though because, uh, well, uh, taking the, uh, the, various, uh, the various units prisoner because there's a town. There's a town really close by so we can actually go over here real fast. And as you can see, we could have ransomed those other ones for around 400, which in my opinion is just, ah, you know, it's not that useful. Anyway, let's have a look here. Decrease accuracy penalty or increase your party. Ooh, you know what? I, I don't think I'm going to be using thrown weapons on my mount that much. This is fantastic if you're going to be playing like a, a horse archer build. It's basically a... a a requirement pretty much in my opinion at least i think it is really really necessary to have this but for me i'd like to move a bit faster on the world map considering the world map is so incredibly large i've already shown you it you know it's really massive so i'd love to be able to uh try to traverse it a little bit faster anyway let's have a look here gain plus five influence by winning a tournament oh hello yeah i think i will be taking that that sounds really really fun and I think I'm actually going to be spending a focus... Oh, should I spend it in athletics? I, I, you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to spend the next three levels of focus points. I'm going to do athletics, charm, medicine in that order. And yes, I know. Okay, don't worry. I know that there is a companion that is doing medicine at the moment. I do know that. But as is the case with Bannerlord, it is possible for the companions to die. And I have very bad luck in that regard. So knowing me, I'm probably going to lose my medic in a couple of episodes time. So I'm very much hoping that that won't happen, of course, because she is amazing. She's got a good amount of medicine skill. But as it stands, I just want to have a backup just in case, which is me in this in this particular situation. So I'm going to go for another point in athletics here because athletics in general is going to be amazing for us later down the line if I can actually continue leveling it up. And I'm hopeful that I'll be able to do that with the use of my throwing skill in some sieges in the future. So that's that's what we're going to try to go for at least. And then I will start specking into other things. Like for example, I'll start branching out into two-handed weapon proficiency as well because of course... There is that sledgehammer that I really, really badly wanted to use because it sounds super fun and it, it seems like a pretty fun idea to wield one of those things. Anyway, as you can see, we are just, wow, my HP is just going up like no one's business. That's actually super nice. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's go into the tournament. There are four lords here. Bone Crusher is going to be the reward for the victor. 
I'm um, not going to be waiting until I am full HP. And there's a reason for that, of course. I don't want the tournament to go away. That's basically it. Yes. Anyway, let's have a look-see at what this reward actually is. Oh, it's a one-handed mace. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, that's actually kind of interesting. Not sure if it's anything that I'm going to be using, but it might be, might be relatively decent. I'm not too sure. Anyway, what I'm actually mostly doing this for is the influence gain. I'm actually wondering whether the influence from tournaments, or should we say... The influence gain that could be could be gathered from tournaments with this with this new perk, actually, it, it kind of gives you more mercenary wages. I'm actually wondering about that. So let's try it out and see what happens. I have thrown weapons right now. Oh, that guy, of course, wonderful. Uh, okay, yeah, he's going to be annoying, isn't he? Oh well, never mind. We can just take him out real easy. And there's this guy. We can try and do some damage with my throne weapon. Oh, no, that's actually an enemy? Are you serious? I didn't even know. I thought I was the red team. Oh, okay. Well, that's fantastic. Okay, this guy, he has no idea what he's dealing with, as you can quite clearly tell. Look at that. And now, let's just try and murder this guy. Nice headshot. Unfortunately, he's got a good helmet, so it's going to be very, very difficult for us to eliminate him. Oh, wait a minute. We got him. Nice. Okay, that was actually a neck shot. But he still didn't die. Oh, that's very funny in my opinion. You know, it's one of those times where you literally think to yourself, okay, wait a minute, this guy literally has a massive, uh, what, wood spike in his neck and he is running towards you with reckless abandon and is not unconscious on the floor. Yes. <laughs> uh, it's those kinds of situations, isn't it? Anyway, there we go. We are through to the next round. Oh no, they gave me... Okay, they gave me a bow. This is going to be very bad, but I can just murder with my one-handed, so that's exactly what we're going to do. Did you order a side of murder? Yes. Well, uh, that is exactly what is happening here. Wait a minute. Let me just avoid this guy. Oh, I didn't avoid him. Wow, that was a good shot, sir. Oh, he's a veteran archer. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah, anyway... We are now up against an Essosi soldier. I'm not really caring that much about the money gained from this tournament. As I said before, I feel like my money situation is okay right now. And obviously I do have, um, you know, I am a mercenary. So of course it is going to continue going up as I continue participating in various encounters on the world map. So it doesn't really matter either way if I uh, make money here or not. It's not a, not a particularly crucial situation to be in. However, however, obviously, there's a caveat there. That very much depends on whether we can continue to have war going on with, uh, you know, with the Vale's enemies. Because, obviously, once the Vale is done in this particular area, you know, because Pentos seems to be falling before them very, very quickly, once that's done... Then they're going to be going over to the Iron Islands if they haven't made peace by that time. And then there's all, all manners of other things going on potentially. So we've, got, we've kind of got to be a bit careful about the future. Because if we don't invest appropriately, for example, if I, um, if I start a workshop somewhere and the workshop gives me 20 or 40 per day, that's a huge waste of money. But if I get a caravan, I'm actually hoping that maybe I'll be able to get a caravan with, with someone that has a decent amount of tactic skill and maybe trade skill as well. Uh, but obviously at the moment, not sure if we can really do that. Anyway, we're just going to be selling all of our loot here. As you can see, we're getting 4,000 from the loot, which is actually amazing. And uh, the Bone Crusher Mace, I'm going to be tagging that as something that we don't want to lose. And I will be keeping all of my weapons here just in case we do smithing. Obviously, smithing is a pretty pretty important skill to have, but I have always shied away from it, shall we say. Mostly because of the stamina system, but uh, I'm not going to get into that. I mention that in almost every series for a little bit of time, and I just say how annoying it is for me. And so I basically just don't ever do it, which is really sad. But... That's the thing. I think I might be installing Chaos's Tweaks relatively soon and I can disable the stamina system or we can tweak it to our liking to make it so that we can actually create more than 
you know, two weapons or something like that. Anyway, we now have a bit of a, a bit of an opportunity on our hands. This fellow has, whoa, he has 29 archers. Okay, he might be a little bit difficult for us. But, I mean, I don't know whether you've noticed, but most of my forces are actually max level. What? Really? <laughs> okay, I'm actually super surprised about that. Anyway, let's uh, let's go in against Hakan here. As you can see, we are much faster than him. Obviously, I have a smaller army, and indeed, we don't have any uh, we don't have any prisoners or anything like that. Okay, we're going to go in in the night time. Not a big fan of that, I got to say. Oh, but thankfully, we are on a desert map, so it is easy to see. So that is nice because if it was a dark ground, it would be uh, a bit difficult. Uh, especially with uh, with YouTube's uh, darkening and all that wonderful stuff that they do. But yeah, anyway, let's see if we can get some nice skill. I'm gonna try and... Uh, wow, yeah. As I said, this guy has a bunch of archers. So, of course... Oh, wow, my, my aim... Yeah, my aim is pretty terrible, isn't it? However, they have a bunch of archers. This is, this is gonna be... Uh, this is gonna be very painful. It's gonna be very, very painful. So I'm just gonna tell my forces to charge in. Let's try and get some kills. Or try and get some 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 experience. I mean, come on now. We need some experience, shall we? Could I actually hit something? There we go. Okay, I hit two. Really? Two out of... Hodor literally just died again. Okay, not entirely sure what's going on with him, but okay. That is very, very strange. I, I don't know. I, I've, gave, I've given him a shield. I, you know, I gave him a shield. He has great combat skills and everything, but he just seems to die very, very quickly. I don't know. Maybe it's just running into the archers. That could be it. I don't know, maybe they didn't raise their shields in time or something. I really have no clue, but I am going to have to get them better gear. That is a given, pretty much. I am have to, I, I will have to do that. But um, obviously right now it's kind of kind of a bit difficult to do that. Maybe, maybe we can actually go to Pentos, or uh, if uh, this particular town is taken quite soon, we might even be able to do that. But yeah, I am really going to have to get better at using my throne weapons. I'd love to be able to increase them a little further. Because it is just so fun. Once you get to a little bit later on with the with the thrown weapon proficiency, it is amazing. And I've 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 shown that multiple times in other series as well, where I was playing like a berserker based build, two handed thrown weapons, and I also had custom troops in that particular series too. And my custom troops also had thrown weapons. It was amazing. We just basically murdered any single person that would actually try to get close to us because we'd have what 15 or more javelins that we were able to throw at the opponent and the amount of hilarious rag dolls that would go on i just love that anyway um i'm actually wondering whether we should take this guy prisoner or not because he's got a bad personality but i don't know i don't know whether we really care about that because at the end of the day, I'd love to just continue letting them go so that they can continue coming back and then as a result we can get more experience, more money over time. That's the kind of thing that I would like to do. Anyway, Hodor has got some slightly better gear, but you can see here he's he's wearing absolutely terrible stuff. Hmm. Should I give him the should I give him the mace? Let's give him the mace. Why not? Let's give him bone crusher. That seems like a that seems like a fun a fun thing for him. And uh, oh yeah, someone actually recommended that I get uh, Jamie Lannister, yes. Yes, apparently Jamie Lannister is very, very cheap. Um, his recruitment cost is not that high. Um, so maybe, maybe I could do that. I mean, obviously I have a pretty significant amount of cash right now, so maybe money isn't even, um, isn't even a problem at this point. Maybe I can actually recruit some people that will do a relatively nice job. Anyway, uh, this army is now starting to dwindle quite considerably. I don't know whether they're even going to be able to achieve victory here. Um, I'm a bit worried about going in here, actually, against these fellows. Um, I, yeah, I haven't, oh, yeah, hmm. I haven't restored myself that much at all. Oh, there we go. We've actually gotten another focus point. Let's put that in charm. And we now have, ooh, oh yes. This is perfect. Absolutely perfect if you are a mercenary. Increasing influence gain from battles by 30%. How can we say no to that? And we also have relief force for riding skill 125. And then throwing skill. Let's have a look what we can do here. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. No, these things are... 
not that useful. I'll go for flexible fighter, mostly for the infantry gaining control skill and ranged troops gaining vigor skills. That's basically all that I'm taking there. But yes, anyway. Uh, I'm thinking, um, I, as I said before, I might install Chaos's Tweaks mostly for the fact that I can then uh, tweak it a little bit so that we gain more attribute points over time. I'm not thinking that we're going to do it every level, but I'm thinking maybe every two or every three levels, because as it stands right now, every four levels, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I really like that that much, as I said in the previous episode. So we'll see. Maybe we'll do it. Maybe we won't. I'm not entirely sure just yet, but... Uh, I would like to fight these guys. Can I actually... Oh, they they went in? Okay. That that was actually very surprising. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, why did they do that? Because they were running away from me. Mm, okay. Well, uh, whatever the case, this is great for us. Because we, ha we now have the ability to either take them prisoner. Because we have three... Three vassals in, in, in involved here, um, if we win, that is. Because for me, personally, I'm not entirely sure whether we can even do this. But let's try it out. Oh, there's actually a river. Well, I don't know whether we can call it a river. It's a bit, um, maybe a bit of a stretch to call it a river. Because you can see here, it's got a very, it's very shallow. Uh, not, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it's it's a nice river. No, don't get me wrong. I think it's I think it's pretty nice. But uh, yeah, if we had a lot of cavalry, then obviously I would try to play around this as much as I possibly could. But as it stands, I I really have no one really. I have what three people. So I think actually Hodor isn't he on? Wait a minute. I'm gonna actually just check this real fast. He is here. Is this him? Uh, no, that's the other fellow. Okay, wait. That's the other fellow. No, no, Hodor is not on a on a mount, right? No, no, he is. Aha. Right. Okay, okay, yeah. And he's not re-tagged as... Um, wait a minute, why is he... Why is he still tagged as infantry? I don't think I can actually customize that, as far as I'm aware. Can I? I don't think so. I think they changed that, didn't they? I don't know, maybe they changed it back, but whatever the case, I'm going to be taking a look at that after this, if I remember. And uh, we'll see if I can maybe change it so that uh, my mounted units are now cavalry. Because I obviously don't want them to, uh, you know, I don't want them to run in with the infantry or something like that when I tell them to charge. Generally, I'm obviously going to more than likely just charge everyone in at this point. Because tactics and strategy are not really required to be super effective. But yeah, hopefully I'm going to get some good skill here. Gotta be, oh, nice headshot. That was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Can we get some more of that, please? Unfortunately, I only have 10 throne weapons, so it's kind of kind of a bit sad. <laughs> it's a bit of a sad showing right there, just having 10. That's the main reason why I would usually play with a two-handed with throne weapons. But anyway, let's just tell our forces to charge in. I don't really want to, you know, delay and allow the enemy's archers to get any good hits. Oh, that was a that was a nice hit from one of the, one of the enemy's vassals. All right, got to be a bit careful of him. And maybe I'm gonna die actually if I go in here. To be honest, yeah, there's Hodor. He's dying again. Yes, I think I might need to tell him to auto delegate or something like that. I'm not sure. Seems like that might be a plan. I'm just going to try and eliminate the enemy's cavalry here because I might be a little bit safer to do this than actually wading into the opponent's uh, archery line or infantry line. As you can see, they they have a lot of pole arms and their pole arms are pretty good. They're, they're actually pretty good at, at dealing with those kinds of things. So, um, yeah, as you can see, they're actually... Are they winning? They are actually winning against us right now. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, that is, um, that is a, that is a very interesting, <laughs> oh no, oh dear. Okay, that guy killed me with a mace. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, can I, can I actually still retreat? Can I actually still retreat? Yes, I can. Okay, I can actually still retreat. This is really, <laughs> oh no, this is really bad. Oh dear, okay, uh, yeah, I actually thought I would be able to win this. I'm very surprised. What actually happened? Look, they have a load of recruits. These guys have a load of recruits. 
And, ah, wait a minute, these guys. Okay, I think they were the main reason why we had some issues. All right, so I'm actually just going to surrender here. I don't see the reason why, why I wouldn't. Because, um, well, there's not much more I can do. I, I, just have to, I just have to bite the bullet, I guess. But this is one of the reasons why you have to be very careful. And look at this. Look at what happened. And now, oh, look, look. <laughs> they throw me, threw, threw me in the dungeon. Oh, no. And uh, Lionel is literally running away right now. I thought he, you know, I actually called this in my head. You know, when I first saw him besieging this particular town, I thought to myself, yeah, there's no way he's going to be able to take this. I thought, hey, you know what? He just doesn't have enough units to be able to do that. And lo and behold, yes, indeed, he doesn't. So that's that's very, very interesting. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, never mind. Okay, so I'm actually wondering. Oh, there we go. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Yeah, now now we are freed. Can you, um, can, are, are they going to attack me? No, no. Oh, oh, they are going to attack me. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, my. Okay, what is going on with that? I feel like I should literally get five days worth of protection or something like that from this. But okay, I, I guess I'm going to be uh, going to be captured again. But that's that's fine, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I think that needs to be reworked for me personally. I, I don't know about you, but when a situation like this occurs where you're thrown in the dungeon and then you try to escape, you obviously don't have any ability to, uh, well, run away. I mean, you have no speed whatsoever. Your horses are extremely slow because you don't have any <laughs> so you don't have any so of course it's going to be very very difficult for you to move away from that particular area okay so i'm just going to continue waiting here i uh, i actually don't know whether i should end the episode off here maybe i should end the episode off here i don't know do you uh, that's the thing do you like seeing this kind of gameplay because for me personally i think this is pretty interesting because i haven't really had a situation like this before where we get defeated and then once again attacked uh, once more you know it's it's very um very strange a very strange feeling to see that and i mean considering the veil is right outside i feel like we should be able to sneak out i feel like there should be some kind of encounter that would allow me to fight out of the prison especially when there's a siege going on outside you know, it's a good distraction, right? It's a good distraction. I'm going to accept the offer of 4,000. That sounds about right for me. And uh, yeah, we can now move around relatively quickly. All right. So yeah, unfortunate that I did get myself eliminated. But look, look, look at look at what's happening right now. You see this? I, oh, I, I what, what, am, what am I supposed to do? Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, um, okay, so what would it take? Okay, nothing, apparently. Um, hmm. All right, well, uh, I'm actually not sure how I can handle this because, uh, I, as I say, I feel like this shouldn't happen. I feel like escaped prisoners or prisoners that have already paid their ransoms or something like that should not be attacked. Wow, that was a, that was a good hit, nice should not be attacked for at least three days. At least, I feel like there should be some kind of grace period in that uh, in that way. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe you don't agree. Maybe you like the, the fact that it's um, very unforgiving in that respect, but I know a lot of people, if they are not really wanting a hardcore experience, they're probably gonna be not too pleased about this, uh, this course of events. And obviously this is a base game thing. This is not to do with the mod itself so yeah that's um a, a bit worrying <laughs> let's just say that anyway you know what i'm actually trying to do right now i am trying to eliminate enemies uh without myself getting eliminated obviously i mean you know if we get eliminated then that's game over but if i can eliminate a couple of enemies 
I will then have the ability, or at least hopefully have the ability, to continue running away. I would have liked to have paid him, you know, I would have been able to pay him 10k or something like that, and then I would have been able to leave. But unfortunately, he doesn't even want to bargain with me in that respect. So that's also a thing that I feel like should be looked at, but oh well, never mind. Okay, so I'm just going to try and do damage whenever I can, even if that means doing some damage to enemy horses. We need to make sure that they are uh, weakened a little bit so that they slow down. And maybe we can do some damage to this guy. Yeah, let's get him. Maybe. <laughs> That's the thing. I've got to eliminate how many of them? I think I've got to eliminate, like, what, five or ten? I think it's very, very difficult for me to do that, especially considering they have a lot of cataphract units right now. And you can see here we're having issues with that in general. Especially considering they have really, really good shields. Okay, here we go. Wait a minute. Okay, we've got to be careful of their spears as well. I'm not even entirely sure whether that's actually still a thing, because as far as I'm aware, this is definitely a warband mechanic. I don't know whether they've kept it for Bannerlord as well, but as far as I can tell, I'm just going to try it. I'm just going to try it and see what happens, but I highly doubt I'm even going to be able to eliminate more of the enemy at this point. It feels very pointless at this, at this moment, so I'm... I'm kind of sad. <laughs> I'm kind of sad about it, actually, because otherwise, I'm. what am I going to do? I'm just going to get myself thrown in jail again? I guess, that, I guess that's what's going to happen, right? Because, as you can see, I can't really do anything against any of these people. They have a lot of, um, a lot of shields that are very, very good. I obviously can't damage them in the least for some reason. And they are not lowering their shields for anything, so... It's very difficult for us to get any damage out. Oh, now that was nice. Okay, we eliminated the actual vassal himself. That's exactly what you get, you absolute scoundrel. That was uh, that was justice right there, wasn't it? That was absolute justice because for me personally, <laughs> that's a that's a a, a a a win in my book. You know. Oh well, never mind. Okay. As it stands, there you go. That's uh, that's what can happen. That is what can happen in this game. And I, I feel like there's, there's not enough of that, really. There's not enough of uh, people talking about this kind of stuff. But whatever the case, there's the peace agreement coming in a bit late uh, for my liking, but okay. <laughs> yeah, but what's really funny is that this guy would have taken me prisoner and then he... Oh, no. He would have taken me prisoner, and then I would have... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay, fine. You know what? I'm going to fight these looters, just because. All right? Okay, so let's have a look-see here. Yeah, anyway, he would have taken me prisoner, and then he would have thrown me in the dungeons again, and then I would have had to wait another... I don't even know how long. So, it's yeah, it's kind of... Yeah, I'm not sure if I really agree with all that, with all those mechanics uh, surrounding the whole prisoner taking thing. Because uh, from what I can tell, that is not what enemy vassals have to deal with when you take them prisoner, as far as I'm aware. I don't think they have to limp back to home territory. Um, I don't think they have to deal with that. So maybe that's just me, but I personally would like a little bit of a change in that. But I don't know. Did I literally just lose against some... Yep. Yeah. I, well, you know what? I'm tilted. All right. That's my excuse. I am very much tilted right now. Oh, look at this. My enemy is actually going to help me potentially. That's very funny. All right. Hey, I'm, 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 uh, uh you know what? I'm just going to pay the 2000. <laughs> I'm just going to pay the 2000. I can't be bothered to wait for that guy to, to catch up, but yeah, them's the breaks, as they say. I have very little morale, as you can tell, but I am, uh, I, I made a lot of money actually. I made a surprising amount of money in this particular area, and I'm actually very, very pleased. And amusingly enough, I have all of my gear. The only thing I don't have is a bunch of horses. Obviously, I can I can get those again. I mean, this is pretty easy. Look at that. Boom. There you go. Got a bunch of horses back. And we can also get some, uh, we can get some, well, grain. 
apparently. That's uh, that's what we're going to be getting. So there you go. We have some of that, and now we can um, now we can try to get back. We can try to get back to uh, to friendly territory, and we are still, by the way, in possession of Pentos. I mean, the Vale is in possession of Pentos. Obviously, I'm not going to be staying with the Vale for the foreseeable future of this playthrough. Of course, that's not what we're going to do. We are going to be joining Dragonstone later on. The only reason why I joined the Vale is because they offered me a pretty good mercenary uh, mercenary contract, and I did want to join the Dragonstone people before, and they didn't uh, have any war at the time. But yes, it seems like that is uh, going to be it for this episode. We were doing absolutely fantastically, and now not so much. But that's, that's okay. That's okay, because the ups and downs of the journey are where things happen. Because obviously, if I were to fly high all the time, it would get very, well, I feel like it would get a little bit tedious. But maybe that's just me. Anyway, I'm going to try and get all of my units back. I'm going to try to, um, you know, level them up and uh, do do my best to get them back. I'm going to be recruiting mostly Dragonstone units this time around as well. So we don't have a mixture of randoms uh, in our uh, in our composition. And we'll see what we can do after that. I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.